also saw how a God was disgraced in God today, who came in purporting to represent somebody in a petition that has already come. When I don't see the way this matter they go now. <laughs> Nobody has a cry like picking now. The guy know what he want do now. He don't they shout too much now. You know, they cry like beginner. They just made rubbish of Tinimbo everywhere. Guy. Are you sure that the judiciary is not repenting? Are you people sure that this same judiciary that we have been complaining about that we don't trust? Are you sure that, you know, everything is just happening like speed of light. People are wondering. People are surprised. So judiciary can be this. So the judiciary can be that. Wonders shall never end. That's one of the most funny things that is happening. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the first time of coming across the tank ride. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to follow. Most importantly, like our videos because according to YouTube and Facebook policy, the more you like our videos, the more they help recommend it to other subscribers that have not yet subscribed to this channel. God bless you massively. So, uh, Tinibu and APC have been doing everything possible to, you know, ruin the chances of Peter B to re regain his mandate. So, that pampas man has been used and he has been denying that he is not being used. How can a Labour Party chairman be fighting against Labour Party candidates? I, I've never, I've never seen this guy. Oh, what drama has plenty for this country. Level party chairman, they fight level party candidates. But Kenneth did a very good job here. You know, why I love this guy is even though I still have mixed feelings about this man, is that he says it the way it is. He says it the way it is. That is why they are not comfortable with the standard. That is why they are not comfortable with the standard. He says it the way it is. So they are doing everything possible to, you know, jeopardize the chances of Peter B. But victory is already coming. You know, this is that moment when you know that you're already losing. You don't want to cause trouble. <laughs> That's what anybody is doing, you know. That moment you know that you're already losing. You just want to cause trouble so that that way wants for me to spoil. That's what they did with her papa in the courts. They brought him, say good, they just scatter everything so that the, the judiciary will postpone it. But they went there after scattering, said they chased him out. So you will not see that it seems something they happen for him. <laughs> for some of you that know the right. Something is something really happening here. But some of you cannot see it. We are gradually entering that point. But will victory come? Yes, victory will come. But I'm going to like to watch this video. When you are done watching the video, I'm going to come back. A lot has happened lately. And I can tell you with every honesty, we cannot sit back and watch these people destroy this nation. To be very, very shameful of us. We can't sit back and watch these people destroy this nation. Because if we sit back and watch them destroy this nation, we won't have anybody to blame. The blame will still come back to us. So let's take it gradually, slowly, softly, and all that. Things that happen, though. Things that happen. So, guys, take your time, watch this video, then we're going to talk more. But whatever APC is doing, they already know that they have lost. APC already know they have lost. So they are already losing, and the judiciary is telling them that, see, guy, please tell no be money issue again. No. Demand a bribe to go and finish the work. He's not telling them this will not be money again. Nigerians are watching. Oh yeah, watch this video. Oh yeah, nah. How a god was disgraced in God today, who came in purporting to represent somebody in a petition that has already commenced. We are we are there on the eighth of May when this petition commenced, and he just want to break in as they normally do, breaking into people's properties without authorization. The only thing that is regrettable is that at times they do it with some collusion with some members that ought to be delivering justice, not delivering judgment. 
whether in case we heard it that it's in can good by the time it comes to abuja maybe where jurisdiction is i think the people that have the jurisdiction will deliver better justice to that but just know that it is ephemeral temporal and will soon pass away like the people that came to court today passed away disgracefully as a matter of fact the learned judges of the court of appeal told one unknown lawyer you should have known better as a son that you shouldn't do this so our legal system should have known better that they should not be removing people that come to power by the will of the nigerian people through the courts it's the nigerian people that determine who will govern them not the courts so it's unfortunate we've come to this level in this country in issues like this you go on incrementally there were motions that were moved but particularly the application that we are seeking for the live streaming of this petition was the one that stood out and let me say that the issue of public hearing of our courts is a constitutional issue section 36 subsection 3 guarantees that courts should sit in public so there is nothing secret about so the neighbor doesn't know how they now want to handle this peter b's case peter b collect bribe no we know greek collect bribe peter b uh, do this one they don't agree to this one Peter B, you know, run this matter. Peter B no agree on this matter. So they are frustrated. They don't know where to place their hand. They don't know where to place their hope. They don't know which area to start. They are, they are so frustrated that they are not doing everything possible to remove Peter B from this case. But Peter B is winning. Now, isn't that a pampas man? <laughs> to come and distract Nigerians. Now, isn't that Pampas man to come and distract Nigerians? But it's not going to work now. It's not going to work. It didn't work before. It will work again. Peter B is every day coming to court. But Tinobi is too big. He's in France. He's too big to come to court. He stole somebody's mandate. And he's still feeling big on top of that mandate that he stole. We have now come to a, a point in this country that we now legalize crime. That those who commit crime are the big boys. But those who keep the law the foolish ones but what do i say are we truly getting to that point when such victory must be achieved yes i gradually, we are gradually getting to that point so let them do what they want to do from head to toe i just want to tell you people that p2b is winning this case and they have just rubbish tinibu's case with no like with no pity, no mercy. Tinibu's case have been rubbished and rubbish for good. So, but my prayer for my big brother Tinibu is that let him rest well. Because I don't know why an elder man is so shameful and desperate to become Nigerian president. 